So today on the bench we have a special treat. We're gonna have Dave Burns tie up his special fly, the vitamin K. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we'll use a 35 millimeter shank with size one trailer hook. We'll tie with some six aught thread, some red and yellow dumbbell eyes for the eyes, some white jelly fritz for the body, of various colors of crystal flash for the flash, some orange and red grizzly hackle for the side wings, some black ostrich hurl for the extra wing, some red schlappen for the overwing and the underwing, some red hackle for the collar, and some green and black rabbit strip for the head. Okay, here we go with vitamin K. Uh, I'm just starting to wind on thread onto the uh, tying shank. And I just fold it over Make it just bigger than the hook that you can pass the hook through it so you can swatch, switch out your hooks if they get damaged by rocks. I like to double this back so it's extra strong if a big one pulls on it. And one thing I do a little differently here is I put the, the articulated shanks reverse of what they normally go and the reason is is that because I'm only using one shank then it gives that U shape in the front gives it uh, a nice level platform for these barbell eyes to rest onto and they they're less likely to twist around uh, when you're dragging them through the rocks. All right now that we have the eyes on we can start with our body. White fritz. I've just taken a handful of strands of multiple different colors of crystal flash. They like to, they don't mind a lot of flash, it really gets their attention, so I take a lot of strands of that and just kind of roll them together to mix them all in. And uh, about half of a strand of crystal flash folds nicely in half and they fold, fly a couple inches, kind of like a lateral line down the body of the fish. Okay, now that we have the flash in tied in place, we're going to take um, multiple colors of Grizzly Soft Tackle, mix them together. I like to keep the red on the outside and the burnt and darker color on the inside, and we just lay them up the side. And I leave them, try to just leave them just past where your hook is going to fall. Um, when you tie in the later stages, it will it'll protrude a little bit past that trailing hook location. And now that we have the sides, um, I like the grizzly bars on them because they kind of imitate ribs on the, on the kokanee. And then uh, we want to use some red schlap and then we try to find the longest strands we can for the bulk of the body. And kokanee have a nice big, long, bright red body on them. So I like to extend this roughly four, four and a half inches long from the head. I also use another one that's a little bit shorter and I use it as a sort of a red belly underneath it and it really kind of gives that bulky profile so you have ribs on the sides and a nice bright red body top and bottom. And I like to use a little bit of black ostrich and extend it almost as long as the, the schlappen is across the back and then it gives a little bit of darkness to the body as well as it keeps a lot of the feather fibers from clumping together. I'll lay another piece of red schlappen over the top to cover the ostrich. One last piece of red grizzly soft tackle and I'll tie it in from the top of the feather right behind the eyes and I'll palmer a little collar behind there. Give it a nice bulky profile. And I like to take a little bit of the black and red green rabbit strips and I'll pierce with the scissors on the back side of the hide just enough space that I can stretch it over the eye of the hook of the shank. So once we have it pushed, pierced and pushed over top of the front of the shank, we position it vertically and we tie in just a little bit underneath for a little bit of a beard. And we pull some of these fibers back for the chin of the head. Then you take the top, go through the middle of the eyes, Pull a little tuft of 
pull a little tuft of rabbit in front of the eyes, and you put a nice collar behind there of thread. <laughs> nice broke thread. <laughs> so I build up a nice solid thread body, and it kind of acts like a little bit of a gill plate behind the eyes. You don't need very much of this green, so you can trim it off just a quarter inch behind the eyes. Very close to the hide. That gives the kokanee a nice little, and that gives that kokanee a nice little green head. A few more wraps. And I triple whip finish. I don't like using any head cement on rabbit strips, so I do five wraps three times. So there you have the finished vitamin K. Uh, anywhere in BC that has kokanee, um, they're a favorite fall time snack for bull trout and uh, they really use the kokanee as a very important food source to make sure that they get ready for winter. So if you have kokanee in your waters, vitamin K is how you match the hatch and hopefully they'll work for your, as good for you as they do for us. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.